Hi, this is a new modeling tutorial for Blender. Somebody asked me how would I start modeling hard surfaces with Blender. And I would suggest to start with a very simple model, a very simple object like I did it here for a light switch. So let's jump right into Blender 2.77. And let's see how a light switch is built. What are the the primitives that can be used to create a light switch. I would say an easy form is um, you have an outer box which is a cube and then I scale this cube here for the y-axis okay and then I would remove the parts on the back of the model, the parts that you don't see Now I switch to edit mode. Oops, no. Remove the faces only. Okay. Okay, and now this cube has a kind of inset. And Blender has a nice method called inset. So press I. For inset and now move the mouse slightly okay just like that and then we will move this resulting face here to the inside so press the E key and constrain it to the Y axis and I think I will snap it here to the outer edge so select as a snapping mode edges and press control while you are moving the face then you get this circle here as an indicator that it snaps to the edge and now it fits really nice okay now again I press the I key and then I remove the inner face so this is my outer box for my light switch okay let's move the point light here a bit to the front so that we can see the outer box yeah okay that's nice very easy rename this object and we have our outer box for the light switch and the next thing we need is the switch so again ask yourself what is the geometry for a switch for a simple switch this is again just a box just a cube. So switch to object mode but before I apply the scaling and rotation for this object okay then I add a cube again I snap it to the grid here that is aligned accordingly to the outer box and then I will scale it Yeah, I think I will switch to to wireframe that I see exactly uh, how it fits to the outer box. So switch to wireframe. And now you can scale it a little bit more down. And of course here on the y-axis. Yeah, that looks good. Return to the solid mode and name this switch. Okay, and now I think as far as the basic geometry is concerned, we are already done. This could be considered as a switch. <laughs> okay, and let's rotate it. And then, this is the first render. You can also change the rotation. Yeah, not bad. But something is missing, right? It doesn't look that, yeah, that pretty. What is missing? 
so I will tell you a secret. Did you know that almost every object around you has bevels? Let's prove this. Here's my handy. Has bevels, bevels, all around bevels. This one, no really hard edges, bevel, bevel, everything is beveled on that. And here, almost every object, you can check this, has bevels. So it's quite obvious that we have to add bevels to this switch to make it look real. Okay, so let's do this. Select the first object, switch to edit mode and to edge selection. And let's select the edges for which we want to add bevels. This one, this one, this one. Okay, and now press Ctrl B and slightly move the mouse and then the mouse wheel to add some um, segments. And this looks quite good. We have three segments and let's add a number of 0.0.4. Okay, that's the bevels for the outer box. Change to a smooth shading and then again the object mode, select the switch, the inner object, and do the same for this object. First let's remove um, the face here that we don't see, away with it, OK, and then again to edge selection and select all edges for that we want to add bevels. OK, same procedure. Control B. And perhaps we make this a little bit sharper. Okay, like that. You saw uh, perhaps that I have hidden the outer box. I press the H key for hiding an object, the selected object in object mode. Now I press the Alt H key to show it again. First I select the material and now Alt H and here it is. OK. This looks quite nice. There's some issues for the shading of this object. So let's hide the inner object. Press H key. Then to edit mode for this object. And I have to add a bevel for the inner edges also. Again, Control B, slightly move the mouse. Yeah, and this looks much better. Okay, very cool. This looks like a real switch. Okay, now think of the following situation. Your boss comes around and says, hey, you did a nice switch, I like it, but we need a kind of, yeah, we have two lamps in the room and we want two switches, okay, one on the left and one on the right side. And then you could say, wait a few seconds, I can do this. First you duplicate this and save it to the new layer. Then select the object, press S and X, and then 0.5. Move it to the left side, Control D to duplicate it, move it to the right side. Ready. Okay, this was the first part of a series for Blender tutorials for creating hard surface models and learning the techniques. And I plan to, yeah, to increase the complexity of the models we create together step by step so that you can follow along and learn new techniques and increase your skills. And it would be really cool if you could support me on my Patreon. I have a Patreon account and I will upload all the models I create here, all the Blender files, the textures, everything. 
we create here I will upload and you can download it if you are my Patreon and with your support I will be able to create more tutorials like this and of course more often yes so just think about it would be really nice in the meantime I changed here to the cycles renderer and this looks quite professional although it is a simple model right so thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel on YouTube and see you soon there.